All right, YouTube, what's going on? Um, <laughs> I said it's not very busy this weekend. I've been doing some cleanup and stuff like that. I've got a little bit more to do, but I want to follow up on these uh, lamps that I've shown you. Um, <clears throat> let's take a look inside of here. So this is the basin from the lamp that I've decided I'm definitely keeping. And I tested this base on the other two lamps uh, that I had for sale. And uh, one of those sold. Um, but let's take a look at the byproducts. So I still have some good um, carbide um, rocks inside of there, calcium carbide. Um, you see the byproduct is lime. So that's what all that kind of yellowish, whitish... Uh, powder inside of there is. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to cover this thing up. And I'm going to test this thing again. So I, I did reference it. Supposedly they use these lamps as well uh, as heaters as well as lanterns. Um, so there's a couple things. What I'm trying to show you is this lantern that I'm keeping it's not sealing 100 percent i don't really want to crank on this this dial too much um but there's a very small leak in there so for me that means that there's something wrong with this screw that is on this thing and it's not completely stopping that water from dripping. Although it is much slower than before, but now you see it's still creeping. So um, part of this reason I'm gonna do this is I just wanna see if I'm able to use the rest of the rocks that are in here. I use about one third of a 16 ounce container to put these at about one half full and because I noticed that maybe there might be a little leak um, it's not good to store this stuff where there's moisture so I'd rather just burn this stuff up and use the unused that's all sealed up use it at a later time so <clears throat> Um, I was kind of in a rush the last time because I really didn't want to mess around with these uh, lamps that I was thinking I may sell. Um, I have an extra one of these and if it doesn't sell, it doesn't hurt me because uh, you know I'll keep it and use it or I may give it to my son's uh, scoutmaster or someone else. That thinks this stuff is cool um, but let's turn on the water even more so this this dial does work so it does increase when I let this stuff go and let that water drip even more now the key thing is you got to wait 60 to 120 uh, seconds, you know, one minute, two minutes for that um, acetylene gas inside of there to give enough pressure to come up through the valve. So let's wait for that. Um, this is very unscientific, but I'm going to show you. Here is a temporal. Ooh, that's telling me my battery's too low. Let's see if I can get a ambient reading around here anyway. Nope, it's 2 0. Ah. Okay, maybe this won't work. Um, this thing was working earlier, said so it was somewhere in the, the 50s. And like I said, this is really for your body, it's not a uh, It's not great for 
testing um, ambient temperature. <laughs> okay, well, well, we'll see if this thing is going to work, you know, once I heat this thing up and light it. Um, now, let's see if I can get this dollar store lighter to fit in there and light this guy up. So there is an opening right here. <laughs> Can't see anything right now, obviously. All right, so I did it. So let's light it up. There we go. Um, so you can adjust this flame um, by depending on how much um, water you let go through this via the dial. So all the ones that I've seen uh, online, they always have some kind of um, knob here so you can adjust how much water is going inside of there. Well, let's take a look at this. So that's pretty bright. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. To me, it's pretty cool. Some of you guys are probably just yawning right now. Um, you can watch golf or you can watch me take a nap. That's what I do when I watch golf. But let's see. Yeah, so see this thing. Ooh, man, that thing's hot to the touch right now. Uh, now, the reason that I want to keep this one, now I know you saw that, that cool looking glass cage one. Um, you know, a glass cage looks great, but it can break very easily. So this has a uh, galvanized um, cage around this thing. So um, if you drop this thing, you know, at the worst, it's going to, you know, maybe bend or, or um, you know, just bend it or make it look, you know, not as nice as before, but it's not going to break. Um, this thing looks pretty sturdy, and I guess if I needed to, I could also replace this mesh. Um, they do sell this stuff where I work. I work in a uh, warehouse for selling home improvement stuff. So figure it out. There's probably only two major ones through the nation in the USA where I live. So it's one of those two. Um, what's cool is you got this nice hook with a chain so that you can hang this just about anywhere. Um, this thing will sit, obviously, wherever you put it. Um, so I guess, in theory, I, I think I've read that you can actually cook things on top of this. Um, I'm trying to cover that, but if you look at the, the top of this, it's pretty flat. But in theory, you could put like a pot or something on top of there, and you can cook with this. Uh, it'll also work kind of like a little heater. I can feel it radiating around here. Let's see if this stupid little temporal um, thermometer will do anything now. Oops, error. I told you I'm not very scientific at all. It's just for fun. Uh, so I think it's just I need to <laughs> replace the batteries. This thing uses a 9-volt battery in here, which to me, I don't really like. Uh... It says it's scanning. Let's see. Eh. Low battery. So this is no good. Error, error, error. Oh, I'm just wasting your time because it's fun for me. Uh, 
Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. While you guys are waiting here, this is getting very boring. So you see that flame is pretty high. Let's see if I'm able to adjust this, make it slightly less large. Now the thing with these lamps is you don't want to extinguish this by um, dropping the uh, flame so low and the, and the water so low that uh, this thing extinguishes without enough um, gas because you're going to ruin your, your valve inside of there. So the best way to extinguish this is to blow on it and extinguish it that way and then let the extra gas go through there. Um, while you're waiting, I guess I'll show you uh, couple little things here so this is a Swedish um, mess kit um, utensil set so you can see here I've got a spoon a fork and a knife it's got the three crowns on there now what's interesting about this one this one is actually made in Norway um, I have another set I'm not sure where it's at I've got too many hiding places my wife doesn't see but uh there is one that's made in sweden as well they look exactly the same except for this little stamp on there and uh yeah this thing is kind of large so i mean if you're, you're thinking of lightweight stuff you probably don't want to take this this is great for a uh, car camping or if you don't carry about weight it's got these little holder inside of here. See these uh, folded, um, I don't know what you call them, but anyway, it helps retain this and then you can take out the fork and the um, knife. I can't do it with one hand. I'm gonna put this thing back in. But, uh, you know, I like this, this set, it's just, Tableware, so you know it might be stainless. I'm not sure. I haven't exposed it outside. Um, usually, I'm just using a spork or something like that. But this is kind of cool to keep around, just in case I want some uh, utensils or something like that. And another little thing that I showed you before is this is you know an official Swedish can opener now I'm not sure if this one's made out of stainless steel but it does have a different um, tinge than say the uh, all the American ones which I know are made out of uh, regular steel because they rust like crazy I've got a couple of the old ones around um, it works just like the other ones and it also folds, blah de blah, little stuff. Uh, so let's take a look at this guy. No, um, I can see why you would use this as, as a heater in a small room or something like that. Um, now this flame will obviously burn um, oxygen. But the byproduct of burning acetylene is just going to be carbon dioxide, not carbon monoxide, like an en engine, but uh, carbon dioxide. Um, and it will use the uh, oxygen in the, a small confined area, but uh, you can use this as a little heater if you're outside camping or you're picnicking or something like that. Um, I don't know what else to say, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have some kind of questions or something like that, please post them on there. I'll try to answer as soon as I can. And I may or may not just show you that those rocks underneath have all turned into lime. I doubt I will. It's kind of boring, right? But, uh, just wanted to show you some of the operation of this thing. 
and some of the uses you can use. Thanks again.